So I've just got off the train here at Ulverston and um, I'm going to be spending about three days here just checking out the Lake District and going on a couple of uh, different excursions. We're going to be going on a train ride around some nice places and we're going to hopefully be going on a boat if the weather holds out for us. So if you want to join us on that, as always, get your shoes on, get your coat on. And let's go. And let's go. The next three nights is where we're staying. So we're just going to do a bit of exploring now. We've just left our little place where we're staying, and um, hopefully we won't bump into in, in any young bloods uh, that are into any hijinks, um, unless they mean me. Up to my hijinks. So we're going to look for something really important, and. Uh, and that is cake. I need some cake and a cup of tea. So we're going to try and find a nice cafe or somewhere and uh, yeah, go and get some food. So we're just exploring different streets and uh, Steve Marsh, if you're watching, they do have a Greg's. <laughs> but yeah, we're, uh, there's a market hall up here we're just going to go and have a look at and uh, go and check that out. Try not to get hit by these vans. There is the market hall. Happy sister. And food sticks. And tires and models. Hot wheels. Box of Lego. Never too old for Lego. Found some cakes. Nice cakes. One of each. So that was a market hall. There wasn't a huge amount in there. We kind of just went round in about five seconds. Um, well, I say five seconds. We spent most of that time staring at the cakes. But um, yeah, the market hall, it was um, opened sort of in the late 1800s. And uh, unfortunately, the original building burned down in 1935. But uh, they've rebuilt it and it looks all right. It's a nice little place just to go and mooch. Uh, but we're trying to find a cafe where we can actually sit down and have a coffee or a tea and a, a very large wedge of cake. Um, well, obviously we don't know the area, so we're just exploring and hope to find one. So we've just been to Thomas's Bakery and uh, got a cake. So we're just going to try and find somewhere to sit and have a cup or something. Try to see what I got. This is what I got. Mm. Thomas's Bakery. The thickness of that caramel was like fudge. It was so nice. And I'm tempted to go back in there and get another one. Should I? Okay. So we just had a wander around a few shops. I didn't film in there because I didn't find it interesting. I don't think you would have either. Um, but here's an interesting fact. A man was born here in 1890 by the name of Arthur Stanley Jefferson. Now you might know, not know that name, might not ring a bell, but the name that will ring a bell was probably when he was famous, around about 1920 I'm guessing, and his name was changed, his stage name was Stan Laurel. And if you still don't know who that is, I'll show you. It's this guy right here. This is Stan Laurel, and he was born here in 1890. And I think he went over to America and met this chap and uh, they created the famous duo, Laurel and Hardy, and uh, yep, took the world by storm. Interesting. Well, yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a mooch around, and uh, the building behind me is uh, the Coronation Hall. Uh, I think it's sort of places to uh, have like plays and stuff in, I'm guessing. It's a very, very interesting building. Some of the buildings around here are quite interesting. Some are run down, but some aren't, like this one over here. Looks Look at the architecture in that. I'm just trying to look, to look for dates on these buildings. Uh, some of them were built in like the 1800s, late 1800s. And uh, I know there's a, there's a police station um, somewhere behind us. Uh, we'll go and have a look at it in a minute. And that was, I think, from the 1800s as well. I can't see there's some dates up there or some markings up there. I can't really see where they are, but 
But yeah, some really interesting buildings around here. But we're just going to go back around here and I'll show you there's a couple of other buildings around here and uh, that might be of interest. So I'll see you in a minute when I find those. So as you saw there, that was the Laurel and Hardy statue. Uh, behind me is the Roxy Cinema from 1937. And inside that cinema, there is actually a museum to obviously see all the artifacts and uh, the films and bits and pieces that Laurel and Hardy did over the years, back in the 1920s, 30s onwards. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and find, there's a, a police station around here that's um, obviously run down, uh, it's no longer used, uh, but it's just like a nice looking building. So uh, we should be there in a minute, um, so I'll see you in a second. So I found the police station, here it is in the background. And I think it says 1888, the way it's written, but it looks like it's got 888 on it, um, but I'll show you now. So there it is, the, the police station. As you can see there, AD, but it's got 888, but there's a one on the actual aid itself. I don't know if that signifies 1888, because it can't be 888, that's far too far behind. So I'm guessing it's 1888. And there's, uh, is that Officer Dib Dibble? Was that his name? In Top Cat? Let us know in the comments, was it of the Officer Dibble? I can never remember these things. But there's just a, a church down here as well, I'm just going to pop and have a look at. And um, before I head back to the house, because it's just starting to rain now. Um, I think it's supposed to be scheduled rain tomorrow as well, so I don't know what filming's going to be like tomorrow. Um, we're just going to have to go back home tonight, or back to the place we're staying, and just figure a route and a plan of what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, it might just be all on trains, so we're all undercover and just kind of go around the area and just see what's what. But uh, yeah, there's a few nice looking things around here, so I'm just going to take a few shots of this, and then I'm going to head back home and uh, put my feet up and have a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, my son's just pointing something out, so I'm going to go and check that out now. See you in a minute. So my son's just pointed out uh, a few little bits and pieces here. Behind me, there's a massive chimney. Can you see that there? It's a huge chimney on this building. And I'm guessing by the size of the thing, it must have been some sort of a factory. So he pointed that out. And also in the distance there, there's the John Barrow. I think that's what his name is. John Barrow Monument. It looks a bit like a lighthouse. We're hoping the weather's going to be decent. Maybe not tomorrow, um, but sort of Wednesday or Thursday. We're hoping to climb up there and see that. And um, there's a church over here. We're going to like have a little wander around and have a look at in a minute. But there's a quite a nice little building here that my son pointed out. Not entirely sure what that is. We'll, uh, we'll walk around there and have a look, but it's quite a nice design, a bit different. Anyway, we're gonna head over there, so we'll uh, see you in a second. Methodist Church. So as you walk around Ulverston you can see, as you can see in the dis distance there, or near distance, that uh, Stan Laurel was very uh, loved around here, everything was named after him, there's so much sort of dotted around the place, little statues and all sorts. Um, but yeah, there's an inn, might pop in there at some point and have a meal. Um, but the um, the blue building you saw a moment ago, well, it was actually a national school and we're just outside it now. And it was granted and it got funded um, and it was from 1834, basically, and it helped educate poor children and this is it. But I think now it's off spaces. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a bit of a mooch around and see it, but obviously it's uh, a converted building now. But it looks quite impressive, I'll just turn the camera on so you can have a look. How cool does that look? Got a nice little walkway there and... There's a little blue thing we could see a moment ago. But yeah, it just used to be a school before. How oh, nice is that? I like little touches like that. I like it when they keep things like that, a bit of history, even though they kind of convert it. Um, I think it's good to keep things rather than sort of just demolish everything because then you just end up losing all the history and the, everything's just too brand new then you want old stuff. So we've had a bit of a wander around now and we're just going to head back to the house 
and uh, have a bit of food and chill out for a little bit. But I'm hoping to go and walk to uh, John Barrow Monument um, a little bit later. Um, so if you do that, I'll uh, tag it on to the rest of this video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So we've just arrived at Ford Park. Now Ford Park, you can actually walk through the park itself and on to John Barrow Monument, which is on a very, very steep hill. And it roughly takes around half an hour. Um, so we had a bit of a mooch in the town and we went back to the uh, house and uh, refueled and chilled out for about an hour. Uh, but now we're going to attempt to climb up this mountain and uh, get to the top. And I'm hoping that when we get to the top, there's going to be some amazing 360 views of the entire area so um, if you want to see all those stay tuned and we'll uh, make our way up to the top shall we so let's go so we're just making our way up to the monument now it's quite a steep i keep I keep looking up and it keeps getting taller and taller but um yeah there's some nice little areas there's a little pond there and uh, butterflies go around it and newts and all sorts of things and um yeah it's a nice little sort of green area for for nature which is what you want really but um yeah we're just going to walk up this pathway and hopefully i'll be able to show you a better view of the monument on the hill um and uh, let you see the task we've got ahead of us don't know if you can hear on the camera you can hear the crows in the background nice little garden here full of all different plants attracting all the bees and butterflies but um, yeah just down there there was a pond with uh, butterflies and newts and all sorts of stuff around it there's a cafe here obviously it's closed because it's seven o'clock now there's a cafe here to get teas and coffees and foodstuffs to give you energy to be able to walk up to the monument itself but as I say my wife reckons that it's about half an hour to get up there and uh, but I don't know what pace that is might take us a little bit longer, we never know. But it's gonna be fun finding out. But um, there's some nice views, but the GoPro doesn't sort of do it justice. Just have a look. You can just see sort of nice views over there, but I'm guessing we'll see better views when we get to the top of this monument. So just a nice little area, that little garden. A little seating area. Where you can just relax and just watch na nature do its thing. Continue up here. But yeah, that's where it is. There's little sort of pathways leading up. I've never been here before, so it's uh, it's an adventure. It's a nice little point there. You can see some. I don't even pick that up. There's a guy running up there. You won't see me running up there, but that's where it is. Right at the top of there. And uh, we're just going to head up. There's like little pathways and and stairs. I can see other people up there walking up there. Um, so let's see if we can make it ourselves. Look at these views. The sun is still shining. And you can just, as I said before, you can just see for miles. It's absolutely amazing. Little coos down there, little cows the sheeps but just look at that just take that in for a moment it's going to continue around hopefully it'll work its way up to get up to there So as you can see it's not very disabled friendly there's lots of potholes all the way up and i think there's another little places where you can sort of make um a shortcut but it's an even bigger incline but yeah it's not for uh it's not for schools you can see massive uh, holes in the floor path but we're going to continue on i've just seen some people walking up here and it just kind of continues up uh, to get up there 
but it's just nice to see these uh, I think they're called fox clubs, these purpley coloured ones here. They're just all dotted around the place, all the way up. It's nice to see a bit of colour in the green, isn't it? As well as lovely views like that, where you can just see for miles. Just watching the, the sun just slowly shifting around and now over there so you can just see I don't know if you can see that on the camera there's like a lower path so that's the one we actually walked around and that goes right down then it dips and goes back to where uh, another entrance near that road but this is the one we needed to be on that goes up here it's got like a larger incline so I'm just going to make my way up there and hopefully get there soon. Wish me luck that I don't fall off there and roll all the way down there and have to start all over again because that would be a nightmare. So my wife and son were supposed to be walking behind me but as you can see they're not here. Uh, my son is not a fan of the inclines too much for him and the heights are kind of making me feel a bit iffy. Um, which I don't blame him to be honest it is quite high up and the pathway is all over the place as you can see it's not sort of nice and smooth it's, it is sort of uh, hit and miss and you need to watch your foot in when you go up there but just look at the views absolutely stunning you can see for miles But while they're down there resting and waiting for me, I'm going to head up here and hopefully make it to the monument uh, within the next 10, 15 minutes max. So let's go. As you can see, it's a bit sort of uh, uneven walkway and you don't want to be falling down there. So I guess when you come up here, you need to uh, watch your footing and uh, make sure that uh, if you're not in a wheelchair, because it'll be an absolute nightmare for you. But just appreciate the uh, just the views you can see from up here. And I'm nowhere near the top yet. I'm probably about two thirds of the way up. Amazing. Right, so the pathway leads up there. You can see other little walkways, and I don't know whether to take these. Or whether just to follow the path up i think that goes to a central point up there to this uh, monument john barrow monument i think we'll follow this path so there's a little vantage point here i'm going to make myself over there be careful um, just to sort of show you the view from this point Let's go watch your footing. But yeah, as you can see, if you don't like heights, I would probably sort of look away now, but uh, you'll be safe. So I'm just on the edge of here now. As you can see it's a bit of a, a bit of a drop, but just appreciate that beautiful view. So look all the way around. You can just see for miles. And in the distance there, I don't think you can see, but there's an actual train line that runs all the way along here to the station that we got off at at the start of the video but it goes through all of this greenery all of this beautiful countryside all the way around and you go through all of the uh, the sands over there but just look at that view absolutely beautiful But for me, you've got all the concrete and steel down there and I'm not a fan of that, I don't like that. Unless it's like old architecture, I like that. But when you see that, I prefer that. Trees and greenery for miles. Right, I'm gonna continue up this path up there and make my way up 
to the monument. So let's go. So I don't know if you can appreciate on the camera the sort of incline that I've just gone up. I'll see if I can get it on camera a bit better, but I've just gone sort of all the way up here, climbed up this. And on the GoPro, it probably doesn't look much, but it's quite an incline. And as you can see, it's all sort of smashed in here, but then there's big steps up and steps. And obviously when you're already going up an incline, your sort of legs really do take it. Um, obviously you get distracted by beautiful views like that. But I think when my son said, he wasn't sort of up for the climb. Um, I totally agree with him and I totally sort of understand him. And um, I don't think he would have made this to be honest. But um, I want to climb this to the top just for him. Get to the top and let him see the top just for him. So if you're watching Sun, which you will be, I'll make you watch it. Um, you'll be able to see all of this and uh, appreciate it um, via my camera. So let's just continue up here and get the top, shall we? There it is, not far now, not far now. Get the old eye of the tiger on. I can't because of copyright, but uh, I'm, it's playing in my head. Shall I go over there and show you the view? Let's go over there and show you the view. Wow. Just amazing. The views just make it just perfect. But uh, yeah, we'll just head over here. It's not far now. You can see the end is in sight. So let's go. So I've just walked up this hill and along here, and um, there's some, uh, I think the rams, not good with animals. Uh, some rams over there. I'm keeping my distance in case I ram me sounds a bit weird um, but yeah they're just dotted all over but as soon as you get up this little go up the hill you just saw this beautiful view and it just opened the landscape up even more and you can just see in the distance all the patchwork fields and then you can see all the rams and obviously there's a little feeding ground for them but just just the beauty of all the hills in the distance and also you can just appreciate how long it must have taken to build these stone walls because when you get up close to them they're just really really small stones compacted together it must have took years and years to create all of this anyway i'm gonna head me head up there and i will see you in a minute So here you can actually see all the things that you can see in the distance. So all of this is all of that. The best seat in the house, eh, for review?
So as you can see, I've managed to make it to the monument here and the views are just amazing. The actually does open between one and five and I think it's only on Sundays, but only when the flag is flying. And as you can see, there's no flag and it's after five. It would have been nice to go in there and possibly go to the top and uh, see if I can uh, check out that and get a better view. But as you can see, there's little plaques either side that show you what is in the distance. Um, I've just shown you that one and I'll go and show you this one and then I'm going to head back down and go and get, get myself a cup of tea because as you can hear my throat is uh, a bit dry, my voice has got a bit weird, I don't know if you can hear me properly but uh, I'll go over here and show you this Now I don't know how many of you know any of these or have been to any of these if you have let us know in the comments some I think I've heard of before these pikes and fells I think I've heard of there Fairfield but uh, yeah so that's from west all the way to east So if you can hear in the distance, there's uh, church bells ringing. They've been ringing for about an hour or so now. I'm not too sure what it's to symbolise. But just look at the views. You can see the fog starting to roll in there. Have you seen that film from the 1980s, The Fog? Freaked me out as a kid. I just think it's funny now. But yeah, so... Um, beautiful views as you can see now I think this was a long way around because I've just had a phone call with my wife who's right down the bottom there and she said there's a little walkway that kind of it's a bit steep but it gets you down there quicker so I'm gonna head down that way so let's go and um, yeah hopefully I'll fall over the edge just to show you on the way down, this is de definitely not disabled friendly. Look at these. Got to be <coughs> mindful of where you're putting your feet. There's one little trip and whoa, you're in there. So that was the John Barrow Monument. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was, it was a bit of a trek to get up there, but as you can appreciate, seeing the monument and obviously this amazing view of the 360 of the entire thing was just beautiful. And I, I really enjoyed it. So I hope you did too. If you did, leave a like. Let us know in the comments if you've actually been up there or been on this little walk or been in Ultimate itself. And um, subscribe, because I've got some more videos coming up and I'm going to be recording in the next few days hopefully if the weather permits me um but yeah i've fully enjoyed it and um, as always take care of yourself and i'll see you next time bye bye